With all the latest controversy and news going around about Peloton lately, I started getting a little nervous and began wondering if it was a mistake to buy my Peloton bike. But after thinking about my experience with the Peloton ecosystem over the last three months, I think I can say that I feel pretty confident in my decision and in this video I wanted to share with you my three top reasons why I think it's worth purchasing. Now to give some background, my fiance and I split our Peloton bike in mid-November of last year because we wanted a convenient workout solution available in our actual apartment unit, especially with Omarion going on last winter. And after comparing what Peloton had to offer, we decided that the regular OG Peloton bike would be just fine versus the Bike Plus because honestly, we really didn't see the need for the swivel screen, the improved speakers, and of course we would save about a thousand dollars anyway. Now what made me a true believer in the Peloton bike? Well the first thing was the bike quality and service. After ordering the bike online we were able to schedule the delivery date and when it came in there were two Peloton techs that helped us set up the bike and explain the basics for how to operate everything. And the first thing I noticed when they brought it in was the design of the bike itself. I know people have always touted how nice it was but wow, in person, the quality of this bike is top notch. Everything from the welded steel frame and industrial grade bearings to the aluminum pedals and durable sports series saddle, it felt sturdy and I could definitely tell that Peloton paid attention to the details. I've tried a ton of bikes from my apartment gym and cycling classes like SoulCycle, and this is up on another level. The large monitor that comes attached with the bike was also pretty impressive with its large 21 inch size and touchscreen capabilities. You could tell they intended for this bike to be a premium level bike. The second thing I love Loved about the Peloton bike was the fact that everything is fully integrated. And I know you might just say, well, why not buy a third party bike and only pay for the app membership for the workouts? But to me, it's just not the same. Having everything all together makes it super simple just to get on the bike and go. Rather than trying to set up your phone or iPad to the side, then try to track your workout on your Apple Watch or fitness tracker, and then finally get your ride started, just seems like a pain. It's so much more seamless with the native Peloton bike itself. You have access to all the various types of workouts that Peloton provides right at your fingertips. You get to see all of your cycling stats synced on the screen during your ride, including your speed, cadence, bike resistance, and total output. And what's pretty cool about this is that you can actually compare your stats with other Peloton riders during the ride, which for me gives that extra bit of motivation to push harder during my cycling workouts. Another ode to this bike integration is the fact that I'm able to connect my different fitness wearables to the bike also. This includes automatic workout tracking on my Fitbit Charge 5 and Apple Watch Series 7. I can also use my Whoop 4.0 as a heart rate monitor where I can see which heart rate zone I'm in during the workouts in real time. And I can connect my Beats Fit Pro as my go-to headphones, which I honestly do around 99% of the time because I don't want my Peloton speakers being too loud since it's right next to the wall in my apartment. Hence why I said earlier that I didn't need the improved speakers of the Bike Plus. Now the last and final reason why I ended up getting the Peloton bike, which actually might surprise you, was the cost. I know you're probably like, dude, Noah, what are you talking about? Shouldn't that be a con and a reason to find another bike option instead? Well, first off, I do want to be transparent that my fiance was able to use her health subsidy from her job to get a nice chunk of that final price off, which honestly you should try to check and see if your company potentially has a discount or a health subsidy as well. However, regardless if we would have had the subsidy or not, I still would have invested in the full price of the Peloton bike anyway, mainly because of the fact that the high price actually brings a level of accountability for me. I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person that once I make a high ticket purchase, it makes me want to use the crap out of that item because of the damage done to my bank account. In fact, let me know in the comments if you are the same way. And honestly, even with that discount, it still was the most expensive piece of fitness equipment that I've ever invested in. And that was one of the driving factors for me to actually use the Peloton on a weekly basis. Now, I know that might not be the same for everyone, but it definitely played an influential part in my decision personally. Now with all that said, who do I recommend the Peloton bike for? Well, I think it works if you are someone who wants a high quality, no frills setup that doesn't require any additional accessories to get started. Or maybe you want a one and done solution that integrates seamlessly between an app, a physical bike, and your already existing fitness wearable. And also if you need that sense of accountability, whether it's being able to connect with the Peloton community during your rides, or just that sense of needing to work out on a more consistent basis because you invested in such a high ticket item. Now I'm definitely not saying you need to have the actual Peloton bike to use their platform. I just personally think that you'll get the most out of what Peloton has to offer when you're leveraging their entire ecosystem. But trust me, I know plenty of people who are still completely satisfied using a third party bike from brands like Echelon or Schwinn and just paying for the digital membership. And honestly, if you think about it, the money you save by not buying the bike could actually go towards an entire year of the app membership 
for other fitness equipment. And for that reason, I've included some of these alternative bike options in the description box below. If you want a deeper dive into my thoughts on the Peloton app by itself without the bike, feel free to check out this video here. Or if you wanna learn about some of my other favorite fitness apps for the year of 2022, you wanna go ahead and check this video right here. But don't forget to go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay healthy and embrace the hype. Woo!